Morning everybody, it's Dan Walls here again from Illumination Wall Art. The clip that you just saw there was the giant Stan Laurel mural that I painted last summer with my friends Raven and Michael Clark. It's in the middle of Bishop Auckland in a street called Railway Street. Um, as you can see, it's huge. It took us three days up a cherry picker and we did it for free. We did it for free because we're trying to do more with the town of Bishop Auckland. The main streets are pretty much boarded up or have very sparse people like renting them or using the shop fronts a lot of them are closed down boarded up empty windows broken windows closed shutters um the town's a bit of a ghost town toward the bottom end the top end is actually very nice uh with help from jonathan ruther and the auckland project they've opened garth galleries they've opened cafes and bars and restaurants and it is starting to work they are, they are regenerating it but there's not a lot going for shop owners, actual small retailers and small businesses like we're trying to do what we can to reinvent and regenerate the area and make it nice. Obviously, I can't really do a whole lot um, money wise, um, but what we can do is we can paint. Me and my group, uh, Bish Vegas Legal Graph, some like-minded individuals who love to paint, graffiti artists, graffiti writers, general old school vandals. Um, We've all kind of teamed up and put our time and effort in to making Bishop a nicer place to look at, really. Um, what you're going to see here is the BBC interview that was recorded after we painted the stand. And um, below I'll put in some details if you want to come and paint some graffiti or do some street art or do a mural in the town. I am campaigning to get more walls. We've got about 20, 25 so far. We're looking to get more but if you're an artist who wants to help out or if you want to liaise and collaborate on projects with me then by all means get in touch if you want to find out more it links are in the description below enjoy the video much love and when they wanted to put some color back into life after covid a group of street artists in bishop auckland looked no further than stan laurel for inspiration the legendary comedian was of course born in ulverston but went to school in bishop auckland and there's already a statue of him in both towns but there's also a giant mural now phil chapman reports dan and his fellow artists use this back street in bishop auckland as their canvas but they've saved their biggest wall for a giant of comedy we just thought it was time we represented him properly and I think coming out of COVID especially people need to smile, people need to remember to have a good time and to regenerate the area and I think people have come here and have seen him and they're smiling and having a great time and I think it just reminds them of better times and well, hopefully better times to come. And Mr. Lardhall was being as difficult as ever. I know a lot of people in Bishop, he is quite well known. I know Pete Lady went to King James which is just down the road from us. So yeah, it just it brings people together with like a familiar figure who has been popular in history. We've got everyone going on the wall uh, and obviously to get something bigger on our building as well. Uh, Dave who owns the Swark House, uh, it's his building, so we wanted to get something for the town. So we started uh, Bishop Baker's Legal Graph, uh, Legal Graffiti Incentive about two years ago and we were given the walls by the Swark House to be able to do pretty much whatever we wanted. Um, and a lot of it is graffiti and tags and it's polarising. People either love it or they hate it, it's kind of like Marmite. And so what I wanted to do was two things really. I wanted to paint something big and bold that showed what we could really do, like the real kind of talent with um, portraiture and actual street art. There's a big deal as well being made with uh, making the town brighter and better. A lot of uh, the northeast areas are boarded up. I don't think COVID's helped with that. So I'm thinking we could do more with uh, making the town a brighter, bolder place. And Dan and his team are on the lookout for more walls that could do with some colour across the northeast. If you think that your area could do with cleaning up and you want to make a difference and you want to do a bit of DIY, then we're here to help. We'd love to be involved and we'd love to get some funding in to take this all over the northeast because I think we really need it in rundown areas like this.